Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but I have been looking forward to this for quite some time. Peton Battle has officially arrived on Global, and in today's video, we're going to start by quickly going over this in-game introduction they have here, and then jumping into the actual mode to experience it firsthand. Now, full disclosure, I have not touched this event at all, so I can't really give you guys any great advice or tips, at least for now, but... It should still be a good time, nonetheless. So with all that said, let's uh, check out this intro here. It says, a new game mode, Peton Battle, is now available. Engage in battles with warriors who have transformed into sticker cards and aim to complete your collection. Peton Battle is a new mode where you can engage in battles against enemy sticker cards with the sticker cards you have collected. Deploy your sticker cards to confront an enemy sticker card that appears on the battlefield. Engage in battle and it will automatically proceed. So what that means is this is a passive mode. You're not like actively, you know, choosing attacks or anything like that. You basically set your stickers and forget it for a while and then come back and collect your rewards. Uh, let's see, your sticker cards will deal damage to enemy sticker card as the battle progresses. And about sticker cards. Sticker cards can be obtained by opening sticker card packs. Sticker card packs can be obtained through the following ways. Obtaining them from the login bonus of Pets on Battle, winning a battle, and also completing certain missions. Rewards such as sticker card packs and items can be obtained by defeating enemy sticker cards. Sticker card pack series 1, which is Namek Saga themed, uh, is also available. Collect sticker cards through login bonuses or by winning battles. Battlefield. There are four types of battlefields, from where you can obtain the corresponding items. Select battlefields depending on the items you want to obtain. Training items, Zenny, Awakening Medals, and Potential Orbs. Now out of those four, uh, Potential Orbs definitely seems to be the most valuable, but obviously you'll go with the one that you need the most at the time, I guess. But I see myself doing the Potential Orbs one the most, most likely. And then for the battle, you can check how the battle is going through the battle animation and the remaining time displayed on the top right corner of the page. Check the animation to see how the battle is going. Even if you fail to defeat the enemy, the enemy will remain in the state from the last battle as long as you stay in the battlefield. And additional effects. Depending on the combination of sticker cards, you might be able to trigger additional effects or obtain additional drop items. Additional effects triggered by certain combinations of allies allow your sticker cards to deal more damage to the enemies. So this is interesting. It looks like there is going to be some kind of a... Uh, kind of like linking, I guess, linking mechanic, where if you have certain characters um, together, you'll be able to do more damage or get better items, better drops. I don't know what the combinations are, to be honest, but it's interesting to see that that's going to be, you know, part of this mode. Additional effects triggered by certain combinations of allies allow your sticker cards to deal more damage to the enemies. On the other hand, it will be easier to obtain additional drop items depending on the combinations of an enemy and an ally. Also, the higher the rarity of sticker cards, the higher the chance for you to get drop rewards. Be sure to try out different combinations. Okay, cool. About the collection. You can check the sticker cards you have collected uh, at collection. Collect sticker cards and aim to complete your collection. So the way that works is essentially, you know, you get these new stickers through like packs and stuff like that, and then you use the sticker, and once you use the sticker, it's gone, right? But you, but it still shows that you obtained that sticker at some point in your collection. So obviously the goal is to have a full collection and collect all of the available stickers, right? So there is this collector's aspect to it, which is pretty cool. And what else do we have here? Um, missions. Rewards including sticker cards can be obtained depending on the number of enemies you have defeated. Aim to complete the missions. Sounds good. Alright, so there's your literal introduction. And as you can see, there is also a limited time period for Pets on Battle. It's not like a permanent mode. This one's going from today, the 24th, or I guess the 25th now, until uh, Monday the 31st. So one week, and then it's going to go away, and then it'll return periodically. I think it's, it might be monthly, but I could be wrong. But either way, it does return periodically like some other events like, uh, you know, Chain Battle, for example. I don't know why I blanked there, but yeah, kind of like Chain Battle. 
So uh, there it is, guys. Peton battle. Now, with all that said, let's jump into the actual mode because I know just like talking about it doesn't really give you a good idea of what it looks like. So click start, hit Peton battle, and then we get this dope animation. Okay, so there's the Peton battle machine, I guess. Uh, we have Goten, Trunks, any idea what this could be? Beats me. Some kind of machine, never seen one like this before though. Guess the kids finally found it. What's this contraption? My latest invention, a game. Like a video game? Yep, but not your ordinary type. This machine is used to collect sticker cards, which are then used in battle. Sounds super neat, can we take- <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna read everything. You guys, you guys can read for yourself. Alright, so... I think we are in. I love these animations, man. Okay, so we got a Super AGL Goku. I don't know if it's like random or does everybody get this guy? Maybe everybody gets him. Um, oh, I see. So it's like a multi. We got 10 stickers. Um, and it looks like a standard thing. Like I think everybody probably gets the same combination of characters every time. We got two Gokus, two Yamchas, two Tians, two Chiaotsus, and two Krillins. And uh, the border does denote different rarities. So the bronze border is the lowest rarity, the silver is the second, and then it's gold. And then rainbow is the rarest stickers. Uh, new sticker cards registered in collection. Nice. So those are the five new stickers we have in our collection now. And what happens now? Here is... A series one pack, I believe. Claim. Oh, okay, so we're opening this pack. Can we get something good? Nope. Okay, well, we got two new guys. We got two new guys. There we go. So we're adding to our collection already. Uh, the battlefields on the map are categorized by item types. You can only enter one battlefield at a time. Let's try the potential orb stage here. You can engage in battles against characters destroyed, or sorry, deployed at five locations in the battlefield. You can tap on the enemy character icon for more details. When confirming the details, tap on the switch button below the displayed enemy's icon to check all the enemies that will appear on the stage. By tapping the I button, you can check the list of items you might obtain upon victory. After an enemy is defeated, no enemy will appear at the same location until the respawn time is over. You can check the battlefield battle animation to see how the battle's going. And you can check your collection and sticker cards but you own by tapping the menu button. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's see. I mean, obviously, the harder the enemy, the better the rewards. That makes sense, right? So should we start easy or should we start with just like the hardest guy, which would be this guy, the LR Super Saiyan Goku? Um, you know, let's go for him. Ah, but our card's not good, though. Our card's not good though. So if you fight him, we get large orbs, it looks like. And then if we fight this guy, we get medium and small orbs with him as well. Oh, uh, this guy gives medium and large orbs. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. And these guys get small orbs as expected. And also potentially the series one packs. Okay, so I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Goldo. Up to five sticker cards can be deployed in a single battle at one time. Select sticker cards to deploy them to empty slots. Sticker cards that cannot be included on the team will be grayed out. Sticker cards used in battle will disappear. And if the combination of sticker cards meets certain conditions, you obtain additional items upon victory or be able to deal more damage. Ah, okay, so that's what I thought. Characters that are related to each other, like Tian and Chaozu. Um, will give you additional effects. All right, so let's do Goku and Krillin and then Tien and Chaozu and then we'll throw in a Yamcha because why not? All right, battle. Okay. And there you have it, guys. Okay, so it looks like our battle's begun. You can choose how the battle is going on the battle detail screen. Attacks proceed from left to right. Defeated characters will be marked as KO. Enemy HP is displayed on the top of the page, while the remaining time is displayed on the top right corner. And then you can retire. 
um, type compatibility and hidden conditions. Try to trigger hidden conditions by forming teams based on the Dragon Ball storyline. Okay, okay. When the combination of an enemy and an ally meets a certain condition, a bonus may be rewarded upon clearing the stage. A red visual effect will appear if such conditions are met. When the combination of allies meets a certain condition, the allies' power increases, a blue visual effect will appear if such conditions are met. Hmm. Okay, so I don't see... Oh, hold on. So, as you can see, yeah, yeah, so... We do have, like, Krillin and Goku lighting up at the same time, and then Tien and Chaozu lighting up at the same time. And then we also have the red thing around, uh, around Krillin. To show that he's effective with Goku. I think that's what it is. And also everybody is lighting up at the same time. So I guess that's like the Sea Fighters effect, maybe. Obviously, I still need to figure a lot of this stuff out, man. But we're in this battle now. And there's not much we can do about it. You know, we're just watching. Like, I, I could, theoretically, I can just sit here and watch this animation for like the next 45 minutes, right? But <laughs> I don't think there's really a point to it. So what I'm going to do is cut here, and uh, I guess I'll come back in 45 minutes to show you guys, you know, the the battle results or the rewards we get after the fact. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Actually, hold on. I just realized you can do multiple of these battles within a certain battlefield at a time. So, um, to save time, let's go for Raccoon and Dodoria as well. So for Dodoria, I don't think we have to use as many um, stickers because his HP is very low. So why don't we do Tien and Chaozu? And that's probably. I mean, it shows it shows one like R, but then if I add more, it doesn't make a difference, right? So maybe maybe three stickers is enough. Let's test it out. We'll just use three stickers this time. And let's see how that goes. Okay. And this one's going to take 55 minutes. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to let these three do their thing. And we'll go back and also fight Raccoon. And I guess I'll just throw my remaining characters in there. And it does take Raccoon down to one bar as well. Battle. Okay. And that's going to take 48 minutes. So there's definitely something behind like the combination of stickers you use that will give you different times. I'm guessing that the better your stickers or the better your links or your character combinations go, the uh, shorter the completion period will be. And um, of course, for these harder guys, you know, you need better stickers or just multiple like sets of worse stickers. So... I'm not going to challenge the Gokus for now. We'll see what happens once we finish these three battles with uh, Raccoon Dodoria and Goldo, respectively. And uh, I'll be right back, guys. So it's been about 20 to 25 minutes, and I wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on with these battles. So let's check out the Goldo battle here. There are 17 minutes left, and from what I can tell, we are very much... Uh, kicking Goldo's ass. Um, it's still Goku fighting him. I thought it might switch over to the other guys, but nah. I mean, maybe I didn't have to use so many stickers. Maybe one Goku alone was enough? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, but let's check out the Raccoon battle. And it looks like Krillin is still fighting. Um, so that's going good as well. And then we have this, uh, the Doria fight too, and right now, it's still Tien versus the Doria. I'm not really sure if it's going to show the other characters too, or if it's going to be always like this. Um, like I said, you know, it's our first attempt. Uh, we're still learning, so uh, that's the update. Not really <laughs> much to talk about, and I will be back in roughly... 25 to 30 once uh, all these battles are complete. We back. So as you guys can see, our first two battles are complete and the last one with Dodoria will be finished in about 30 seconds. So let's collect our rewards 
for these ones first. And yes, the Doria is knocked out. He's dead. And we got... Um, okay, so 10 small orbs and 5... Or rather, 8 medium orbs. Not a lot, but I guess over time, it will add up. And of course, I'm assuming that if we fight the harder enemies, like the Super Saiyan Goku and the Kaioken Goku, then... Um, we'll get even more, right? And we also got a sticker pack here. So let's click OK. And let's see what kind of stickers we can get from this pack here. OK, our, our first gold, our first gold. It's a Final Form Frieza. That's beautiful. And we also got Silver Chase as well. OK, so two stickers there. Interesting. Uh, a battle has ended. Let's check the result of the battle. Tap the stage mark with finish to check the result. All right. Uh, respawn time. Respawn time refers to the period of time you have to wait for the next enemy to appear after you claim their rewards upon victory. An enemy of a new difficulty will appear after the respawn time is over. Interesting. Okay, so we'll get a new enemy here in about an hour. Let's check out this one. And we got two packs this time. Okay, two packs, five small uh, fizz orbs. So not really too exciting, but hopefully these packs are more exciting. Here we go. Ooh. Got a Super Saiyan Goku. Or rather, base Goku. That's about to become Super Saiyan Goku. And we also got a Transform Zarbon. Okay. And this one's finished too. And oh, okay. So I guess it's not two separate packs. It just means that we got two stickers since there's two of these icons. So let me click OK for that one as well. And let's see if we can get one of those rainbow stickers this time. Ah, oh, I got a Krillin. All right, all right. I'll take it. So now let's go for someone a little more challenging. You know what? Let's just go for the Super Saiyan Goku. Screw it. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to use Frieza. Okay, hold on. So let's use these guys. Uh, I think that's enough, right? See, I'm, what I'm assuming is like, you know, you see the bar on the top, right? And I'm assuming that... As it goes down, it shows you like how much HP you can take away. And if you get down to one bar, then that means you kill them. That's what I think. That's what I think. I could be wrong though, guys. So don't necessarily take my word for it, but I'm gonna go with these stickers. Let's hit battle. Let's hit okay. And it's gonna be an hour. Now, um, I'm not gonna wait any longer because you guys pretty much get the idea, but essentially after we do this battle, we should get a couple of small, medium, and large orbs. Or rather, for this guy, it's just large orbs, right? I think it might just be large orbs. Yeah, so we'll get some large orbs and hopefully at least three or four really solid stickers. And we're building our collection. I'll show you my I'll show you guys my collection real quick. Um so we have 12 out of the 37 available stickers right now. And I don't have any of the rainbow ones. I think there's only two of them. The LR Frieza as well as the LR Super Saiyan Goku. So looking forward to getting those. Um, I'll be honest, man. I'm more excited about this like sticker collecting aspect uh, compared to like getting the rewards. Because like, you know, the orbs and stuff are nice, but it's not a lot. And I don't know. I just think it's more fun to like get your full collection. So... Let me read this. Uh, you can tap the icon of a sticker to view its details. The following information can be viewed by tapping a registered sticker, card, and collection. Type, rarity, power, second name, character name, where to recruit the displayed character in Dokkan Battle, and sticker card number. Okay. So, there's the Chibi Goku. If we flip it over, it says, Series 1, number 3, Pinnacle of Fury Goku, power, uh, 7300. Super SDR, character details, final trump card, Goku's Dokkan Awakened form. And there's also a date, 2021, May 25th. So there you have it, guys. Baton Battle is here. I'm enjoying it so far. It's obviously not very 
interactive because it is a passive mode after all. But uh, I like it, man. I really do. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Phaeton Battle as well. And if you guys have any advice or any tips for each other, and myself, of course, then uh, definitely let us know in the comments down below. And that's going to be it for today. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.